Well, August the 6th marks the 70th year since the, death, uh, since the deadly atomic bombing of Hiroshima. The explosion and resulting fallout killed tens of thousands of Japanese. Yet more people were killed in Nagasaki when a second atomic bomb was dropped by U.S. forces just days later. And many survivors can still vividly recall the horrors of the moment to this day, and memorial ceremonies are held in each city every year. Our correspondent Terence Terashima reports. This sound has echoed in Hiroshima city every year at 8.15 a.m. on August the 6th. People prayed for those that suffered and those lost their lives may rest in peace. Prayed for peace that the bitter lessons that mankind have learned would never be repeated. This year marks the 70th year since the atomic bomb was dropped in Hiroshima on August the 6th, killing 140,000 and later in Nagasaki on August the 9th, killing 70,000 by the end of 1945. The survivors still remember the horror they encountered, and their biggest fear now is that these memories might wither, no one to pass on their stories. Aki Norihara was three years old when the bomb was dropped. His child memories were vague, some due to shock and confusion, but he remembered the fear. At 8 a.m. on August the 6th, 1945, Mr. Hara, his brother and friends were playing in the riverbank like this, waiting for the barber shop on the other side of the bank to open. Just before 8.15, the brothers were called in for a haircut that decided the fate of the brothers and the friends who remained outside when the atomic bomb exploded just two kilometers from the riverbank. The city was reduced to rubble. Those who could tried to survive in whatever shelter they find. Hara said his family witnessed endless rows of people marching towards whatever left of the hospital. Everyone was black and I could not tell whether they were men or women. Clothes were torn. Their skin was hanging down from their waists. Skin from their arms was hanging and it came off like a glove. It must have been very painful as they walked with their hands stuck out in front of them. Hundreds walked in pain past our house. Hara said Japanese should continue to take the lead in sending out message of peace and dangers of radiation to the society. The Japanese people have experienced Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We saw how radiation contaminated the fish from atomic bomb testing in Bikini Atoll. We also saw the accident at Fukushima nuclear power plant. No other nation has suffered this much from radiation. We should continue to warn the world of its dangers. Kazumi Matsui, the mayor of Hiroshima, reiterated how Japan and the world should face such dangers. In order for us to live together, we need to end the use of all nuclear weapons, the ultimate inhumane, pure evil, and the moment to get this done is now. Many that attended the ceremony said the 70th anniversary should not be the closure for the past sufferings, but a reminder not to repeat the bitter past. Terence Teoshima, CCTV, Tokyo.